She's the fashion icon turned beauty entrepreneur who's been telling us what not to wear for the best part of three decades. I'm Karen Dacre, fashion director of the Sunday Times, and today we're going inside Trini Woodall's wardrobe. Hi! Hi, how are you? Yeah, very well. Can we come in? Absolutely, thank you. Come on. So this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. Wow. Yeah, this is my studio. And are we finding you today as it, as it always is, or have you tidied up for us? I've tidied a bit. I'm quite tidy because okay. if I'm, I work at the desk and if it's messy, I can't feel focused mm -hmm. and structured in my work. Okay. And I do quite a few business meetings here. Mm -hmm. So it has to be this calm place. Everything is meticulously, meticulously organized. Can you tell us a little bit about how you kind of do that? I, the rules? When I came here, because I wanted to just create the space, so I got things from Ikea yeah. and I thought, what do I need to have in terms of height and length? Yeah. But I like to rearrange it occasionally. Like on Sunday, I rearranged it to put all my bottoms here I so that I can then think, all oh, right, if I start with, I, I start different ways. Yeah. So some mornings I wake up and I think, I look like shit, mm -hmm. so I'm going to do sure makeup first. Yeah. So I'll sit at the table, do makeup, and then think, what do I want to wear? Because I put my face on, I feel good. Yeah. Other days, I think I did a great skincare routine last night. I'm feeling good. Yeah. So I think, what do I want to start with wearing? And then I'll do my makeup to match it. So you're not shoes from from the shoes up, sort of. Not person. at all. Yeah. I'm I'm sort of colour driven. On that note. Yes. You're going to tell us a selection of things from your yes. wardrobe that kind of mean the most to you. Yeah. Do you want to pull out the first thing and show us? I've got it on. <gasps> when I got the brief from you, it was that sense of what I might save in a fire or things that have sentimental yeah, value. Absolutely. It's that combination. Yeah. So this is something I can dress up or dress down okay. and I'll always know summer or winter, wherever I'm going in the world, I can use it to make lots of outfits. So the skirt, I remember when I bought the Insane. skirt and this is Paco Rabat, but just when Paco oh, Rabat was coming this? back in fashion yeah. and I got at Selfridges and I remember at the time thinking there's no way I'll spend that much on a skirt. It was, yeah. you know, we have a maximum price yeah. in our mind, depending on what we earn, yeah. of what we'd spend. And it was over that. But ceiling, I, ceiling There price. was a ceiling, yeah. but I'd probably worn it, you know, cost per wear, it's probably at five pounds now. I've probably worn it about 200 times. Mm -hmm. Silver yeah. is your thing. And you've, you managed to do this crazy thing with it, which is make it almost as neutral as navy blue. Like yes. you have so much looking around the room, there's so much silver, but you wear it in a kind of, it's Tuesday morning yeah, it's, and it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's, and I feel like I wore this on my birthday lunch. I'll wear this with a big baggy jumper yeah. over the top. Love I'll that. wear it with boots. I might wear it if I'm smartening it up with a sexy heel. I got back into a sexy heel Love. recently. The jumper is me and M mm -hmm. and me and M do brilliant things that bring your wardrobe together yeah, as very, really very do. good basics. And, and things that are kind of, you can team with these kind of yeah. like, more headline pieces maybe. Yeah, and they, you know, they like... play them down. But you could get a sequin top anywhere on the high street, mm. but they'll always be this length. Yeah. And I've got really long arms. And then 16 so Arlington, oh, 16, 16 Arlington. Arlington. Okay, but they nice. just did that. And I thought that's what I've always been missing. Yeah. Do you enjoy kind of finding those little gems that are, you know, like people on the rise? Is that important to you as much as it is to shop in so Zara? So much. I love it. Yeah. I've always worked, I would say, in dressing as mm -hmm. opposed to in fashion. So Should we do your next piece? Yes, my next yes. piece. Are you I mean, ready? I, I mean, it's going to stay on silver for a while, just Fine. to warn you. So this is... Uh, it's my, a happy place. This is my happy place. This is a Dries coat. I mean... Um, and I'll put it on. I'll put it on. How long have you had this? I've had this for two, two and a half years. Okay. The thing that's oh, really yeah. clever... It's beautiful. ...is that it's warm. Sequins to me are my waterproof, waterproof Mac, if they're in a coat. Amazing. But it's padded oh, it's inside, so, nice. so it's really warm. Yeah, lovely. And then it had in it a belt. Yeah. A belt. And what I realised is if I do it like that, it becomes a dressing gown. Yeah. So I didn't want to wear it yeah, that I way. Know what you mean. So I used this around my neck separately mm -hmm. as a little tie. What's Things. interesting though is you've done it again. You've managed to make this look like quite a neutral thing. I can imagine it with jeans, I can imagine it with a black dress, I can imagine it as it is now. Yeah, it, 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 you throw it on yeah. anything, it brings joy. Yeah. And I think clothes should bring joy, especially if you're feeling flat. And mm. I, the, to me, the joy of a sequin, and we can talk about sustainability in sequins, but if you buy a sequin, you've got to think that's never going to leave yeah. my wardrobe. What is it about a designer like Dries van Noten, who obviously, oh. he is the genius when it comes to these kind of statement, statement and playful, but kind of 
sort of, they transcend time, don't they? they you can they wear do. them forever. What is it, do you think, about him that kind of appeals it's to you? It's because you never buy Dries if you're somebody who needs to wear something that's fashionable that yeah. season. And I think he appeals to people who want a piece that's a lifetime piece that they can bring into their wardrobe mm. of basic pieces and just make it something incredible. Yeah. What he does is make something so special like that, yes. but makes everybody want yeah. it. And you know, there's been so many articles you and I have written over the years of mm. what are the 10 essentials sure. in a wardrobe? And when I was doing my book, I thought actually, it's what are the 10 non-essentials you need in your wardrobe? Yeah. What are those 10 things Where's that the will fun? elevate <laughs> yeah, yeah. everything that's quiet and mm. make it loud. Mm -hmm. So I've got one other piece Show I me. do that with. I loved it so much that I was scared I would lose it, so I got oh a second one. Oh my God, you've got one. two. And How do you wear this? Recently, I've discovered a new way to wear it. I'll either wear it totally unstructured mm -hmm. and over something, and it's of a length where if I wear a wide leg white crop trouser in the summer, yeah. I'll wear this with yeah. a little white t-shirt underneath. Lovely. And then other times I might pin it at the front if I'm wearing a skirt and I don't want to tuck it in. Mm -hmm. I want to have it higher. Have you always had the confidence to kind of play with clothes in the way that you do? It's, it's become so much of your signature. To I'd always loved... Um, dressing mm -hmm. since I was sort of seven or eight. I was at boarding school from a very young age and the yeah. one communication tool I had to make friends with people is to talk about how to dress and okay. then people would ask me advice. And so then as the years went by and I moved to London and I was working and earning 11,000 pounds a year, mm -hmm. I couldn't afford to shop anywhere nice and I couldn't bear to go to M&S. So the only place that was interesting was Miss Selfridge. Mm -hmm. And so I go there, then I'll go to Marylebone Lane and go to the Button Queen where they did these beautiful old fashioned sets of livery buttons buttons for sort of four pounds mm -hmm. and I'll put them onto my plain black Miss Selfridge mm -hmm. suit and make it something different. I'm not a seamstress yeah. because, you know, when I cut hems, I cut them really badly, but I want that immediate, my God, I can see I could do this mm -hmm. and then the scissors come out sometimes I cut it too short. It also suggests though that you're not someone that is happy to kind of go with the pack. It's not about feeling unique. It's always, how can I make it suit me better? I have a long body, shorter legs. How do I make it suit me? Mm -hmm. Leopard is my other neutral. Yes. And I love leopard because it can give texture and pattern without wearing you. And I think many women who don't suit pattern could mm -hmm. still wear leopard. Yep. This is a piece I got from Vestia Collective. A lot of my evening dresses, when I very first started wearing evening dresses, were all vintage. Yeah. And I didn't ever buy new Before ones. Before vintage was a thing. So yeah. this is Stella McCartney, and I don't ever remember seeing it. But I liked the texture. I love the fact it's a gilet. I can put it over anything. This is faux fur, and that's a different print. It's a different type yeah, of um, leopard. And I know you love to shop. Do you often buy resale secondhand? A lot. I, yeah. Vestia Collective is the one. Uh, is the one. Talking of things that you've had for a long time, I know we're going to talk about handbags. Handbags. I have a lot of handbags, yeah. and I do sometimes buy a handbag because in that season they do a handbag I love, mm -hmm. but I don't buy it because it's the bag of that season. You're not an it bag. Girl. I'm not an it bag Fine. girl at all. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you to a bag I inherited. Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. Right. So, so my mum mm -hmm. was not ever into fashion. But my father gave her this Hermes bag. I think probably it's about 45 years yeah. old. It had a really bad strap. So I said to Hermes, can you do a new strap? Yeah. I mean, the price of getting a new strap was, I was like, can I afford to do it? From them. And then, <laughs> and then they said to me on it, there's a dent, dents here. Oh, yeah. Do you want us to remove them? And I went, no, that's why my mother's dog kept yeah. gnawing at the bag. Yeah, okay. And um, we've got to keep the dog's dents mm -hmm. in there. And do you use this bag a lot now? I don't use it that you much because this is not me, that look. Yeah, okay. But sometimes I wear it crossbody really high. Yeah. And I sort of good. do that. Yeah, lovely. Like that. So this is what I do a lot. And I can show you with this one. I don't know well, why I put this, this in here. You've made this into a museum piece. Because it was getting dusty. But okay. what I would do is I... Probably my most bought bags are Prada bags, but I would then mark the occasion, and this is the first time I did it, with something. So yeah. Johnny and I, Lila's father, got uh, engaged. So I got this bag. Yeah. And so I marked it with that. That's beautiful. Because it sort of, rem you know, it reminds me of that time. So this one is, oh, Lila was two Lila. when I got it. So I then put pictures of Lila yeah. when I bought bags. So I remembered the time. So I can tell you, she was, no, she was about four. Okay. So this bag's 16 years old. Wow. Okay. So. Jewelry. Uh, jewelry. So 
The sweetie shop. Most of it is costume, in fact. I, I had some jewellery when I was younger, but it was all stolen okay. about 10 years ago. So then I just thought, let me never How have anything expensive. And then I am obsessed with Muji, so mm -hmm. I use these to store things. And I do it by colour. Yeah. So when I'm looking for things I can own, some things I've got for £5 in a market and other things are Amazing. sort of like, you know, lovely Lanvin costume jewellery like that. But, you know, that... Sort of I have never seen ago. anything like this. It's amazing. But it does mean, because so often we hide our jewellery away, however big or small our jewellery is. Yeah. We hide it, so we never see that. We never Tuck play. It in a dark and the box. whole thing is, how can you make it more visible? Yeah. I mm -hmm. wear these 95% of the time, which are these Tiffany cuffs. This is the most, I think this is as trendy as yeah. a sequin, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I mean, I, it's silly to show the one sequence, but I could be wearing a very plain jumper. What does a cuff give you? What, do, what is it that you love It just about gives them? me, I'm going to show you it. So I'm just going to put on. What is this jumper? Can you I'm tell us gonna, about I'm it while you do? This is a Zara jumper. It was £29. Oh. And then this is the other thing, which yeah. probably I wear the most of, and I'm asked the most about, which are these shoulder pad tops. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, so where do you get this? I get them made. I have a woman who's like my drug dealer for 20 yeah. years. She cut, she's, you know, when I've cut badly, she calls me and says, Trini, I need to take that out properly. Yeah. Yeah. So we made this with a mesh fabric, okay. which Missoni used for lining, and put shoulder pads in it. Yep. And it just works. It gives great portionality. So you sort of use it as a t-shirt, but it gives it is, you, with, yeah. but it gives you like have, a bit of structure at yeah, the same time. And I have different um, weights okay. to it. So of course you do. This is a bit short, yeah. and we talked before Zero about shortness, yeah. so that leads me okay. now to the Tiffany cuff doing many things. But what it does more than anything is it covers up when something is actually too short okay. for me, this and it makes it purposeful. Tip. You know, this is our show. I'll start with Katie Brain, who, who <laughs> leg and brain, and so she does things like this. That to me is is a ring. You know, so you could I'd kill wear. someone with that. For my birthday, she when I Trinity London was like two years old. Mm -hmm. She these are the bases of the rings she uses, and she put a teapot mm -hmm. on top, okay. and gave it to me. And so I put in it different colours. Yeah, okay. Amazing. Like that, so that's just two. And do you trends. wear this every day? Not Either really. I wear both the cuffs and the ring. If I'm doing telly, yeah. I will wear the ring. It's a subtle way of just having my pot with me, but also it's incredibly convenient because I can just, you know, I think, oh, I need some more lip gloss, yeah. I can put it on. Is there Personally. an element of these things being your kind of armoury? This is definitely... Do you feel a bit naked without it and a bit more powerful with them on? I feel a Wonder Woman strength with these, okay. I have to say. It yeah. makes me feel, that. you know, you talked earlier about, do you feel powerful or... I just feel strong. Mm. And I think as women, we can sometimes feel weak and I love to feel invincible. It yeah. makes me feel invincible. Yeah. This is what clothes do. This is, this is the this kind is of the, the whole point the of why we're of here, because yeah. they, it's not about standing in front of a mirror and looking good. It's uh, how exactly. you feel when you walk outside the front door. And I think these sort of things are those like they finishing touches that yeah. really elevate that even further. Um, Trini, can we just quickly yes. talk about your book? Because yes. I can see it's sat here. Yeah. Um, this is my 11th book. Fearless. What is fearless to you? Fearless is how can we look at different aspects of our lives mm -hmm. where we might feel, can I challenge myself mm -hmm. more? And so the book is split into three parts. It's split into beauty, um, style, clothing mm -hmm. and dressing and life. Yeah. And so the bit I enjoyed doing the most is a bit I hadn't written about before because I've written a lot about clothing sure. and dressing and beauty but it was the life bits. It was what I've learned being yeah. a CEO, building a business, mm -hmm. trying to raise money, mother, going through addiction, about, all these things, yeah. being a mother. And so I, I just feel I wanted people to read a chapter and then I say, ask yourself and challenge yourself yeah. because I can sometimes read a book and be a passive um, listener, mm. but I wanted people to then think, okay, let me now take action. Trini, you've yes. been absolutely incredible and so informative and I feel like I could stand in this room all day, maybe move in if you have me. <laughs> I think there's an ensuite, yeah. I could sleep in. But yeah, thank you so much and we'll be back. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Time Style YouTube channel.